what's going on guys triple m here again and today i wanted to show you two applications that will allow you to record your screen on your android device now especially for the nvidia shield and the mi box with the new update that was pushed out you guys noticed that the screen recording function was no longer present but these two applications will do the same thing plus a lot more so in today's video we're going to do a quick overview of both apps show you the different options within each app do a couple samples and then i'll show you guys where you can install it so let's go ahead and jump into it so another big shout out to everyone that supported the channel if you guys are new i do a lot of cool videos on here different ways to cut the cable cord streaming tips as well as cody bills cody add-ons and apk installations so definitely consider hitting that subscribe button in the top right also hit that notification bell guys that way when a new giveaway or videos release you will be notified uh one more thing before we jump into it if you guys are new whenever you're streaming whenever you're downloading please consider using a vpn not only will vpn keep you protected it also will keep the isp out of your business and keep them from throttling your service so definitely worth it in my opinion check the description of the two vpn services that i use and recommend and also check out my vpn playlist where i'll go into details of how you install each vpn how it's used and how you can go ahead and get signed up for those services last but not least please smash that thumbs up at the bottom right of this video really do help the channel help the video and also share this video if you think it might help someone else so let's go ahead and jump into it i do have both apps open right now guys this one is az recorder this one is DU Recorder, and both of them are similar. Both of them do the same thing, but I do think that one of them is a little bit better. So first of all, this is the icon for the AZ Recorder. This is the DU Recorder, but let's go ahead and go through the different settings within the AZ Screen Recorder. So we do have the settings right here in the top left, and we'll go over the different options in a little bit. This is the option to take a screenshot, take a video. This is to go live, and this is to show you different options within Recording Live. So let's start at the bottom. You do have different options where you can go live on Twitch, guys. If you click on the live button right here, it will give you a pop-up to pick your stream option. So you do have the option to go Facebook Live, YouTube Live, or live on Twitch. So once you click on either one of them, you sign in with your account information, and you're good to go. Basically, this is what this button does as well. It will bring up the options to sign into your live stream. This is your record button, your camera button to take a snapshot, and also your settings. Let's go to our settings first. A lot of cool options within this application guys for a free app I'm very impressed so if we click on the menu right there you have the option to do a Wi-Fi transfer rate the app send feedback share the app languages more apps frequently asked questions quit and about but within here you have your encoder you can pick advanced or default or you can fix the green screen if you guys are recording behind a green screen you can go ahead and click the fix to help the video come out better you have a magic button a few more advanced users uh, stop action so stop by notification so show red blinking dot so let's go ahead and turn that on stop on screen off lock the screen to stop recording so that's an option there you can shake to stop you can enable time limit and you can set the time to unlimited so let's back on out you do have resolution maxes out at full 1080p which is pretty cool you also have the option to change the frame rate you can go all the way up to 60 frames per second you have the bit rate you have the orientation set to auto right now time lapse you can um, turn it on you can adjust the speed record audio so if you guys do have a mic you can go ahead and um, record your audio so right here it says internal audio recording is not allowed by Google now so basically you can't use your remote to record audio is what it's saying all right text and logo show camera you can show slash I the camera faster by adding the camera button to the bubble so let's go ahead and turn that on see what that looks like all right, you have a countdown set to three seconds. You do have a paid option, so you can remove the apps. Controller type is bubble, bubble buttons. Uh, select display five seconds. Key notification, disable review pop up. So basically, after you finish recording, it will pop up and say, Hey, this is your video. Do you want to edit? Do you want to share it? So those options are there. And you do have your output directory. Right now, it's going to store to my storage emulated zero, then AZ recorder free. The middle right here this is all the video we have nothing in there yet and we do have a photo or screenshots in here as well let's get out of here let's go ahead and test it out so first let's take a couple pictures so this is a snapshot of my home screen bam all right it gives you a pop-up saying hey do you want to share this do you want to delete it do you want to crop or do you want to just exit so let's go ahead and exit and let's take another picture just of the play store or something like that snapshot 
And let's go ahead and edit this one. So this one, we're just gonna, it's gonna cut it right there on NordVPN, not plugging it. However, NordVPN is a great service as well, guys. All right, so once you're done cropping it, crop right there. That's how it's saved, and now you can do other things, but um, let's go ahead and we'll just back out of it. And let's go ahead and test out the video. So click right here. All right, so it's saying cannot record sound, microphone is busy. So you can see I am recording right now, so I can scroll down if you guys wanted to do a tutorial, show some video or something, show you guys how to organize your apps. Long press, move that around. I'm gonna move that as well. All right, and let's go ahead and stop the video. All I gotta do is click on the actual application and the video will be saved. So I'm just gonna exit out of this screen and let's go back in. Let's go to our settings. And now if you go to your video, you can see we have a couple videos in here. So that's the first one. That's the last one that we just recorded. You can see, not bad. It does get a little pixelated when you're scrolling fast through the actual menus, but uh, besides that, can't complain, guys. Once it settles down, it does record pretty well. So that's it for AZ Recorder. So let's go ahead and exit out of it. And let's jump over to DU Recorder. So click right here, guys. You do have some of the same options right here. So you do have the option to go live. If you click on that, choose your platform here. You have Facebook, you have YouTube, you also have Twitch, and you do have multi-streaming capabilities, which is pretty cool. This is your recording toolbox. So from here, you turn on the camera for a screenshot. So it will put the icon over there. You can drag it to wherever you want it, guys, or you can drag it to the X to get rid of it. Let's click on the toolbox again. So same thing if you had a camera installed on your video shield or the Android box, guys, you can use that to actually take um, video while you're recording, which is pretty cool. So same thing, you have a brush, you have a GIF recorder. You also have the option to show touches. Let's get out of here. We'll just leave the camera option here drag it up a little bit more so this is your main menu right here so these are all your videos these are your photos go live these are your tools so you can edit the video merge videos these are your settings right here so within here you do have those options change the video resolution quality frames per second orientation you can record audio as well video location so um, same basic location storage emulated zero then record master. So instead of AZ screen recorder, it's under record master. You can invert video, shake phone to stop recording, countdown, three seconds, hide the record button on home page, pause recording, screenshot camera, GIF recorder, watermark. So it has a lot of the same options that it does on AZ and, and then even more guys. So let's back on out. Let's start by taking a picture. So hit the camera button. There it is. Picture, same options. You can share it. You can edit it or you can go ahead and delete it. Let's go ahead and we'll test out a video. All right, so we'll start screen recording. All right, so from here, I can do my tutorial. Hey guys, this is what I'm doing. Let's go back up and we're gonna test it out on a YouTube video just to see how that looks while it's recording. All right, just so you guys know, you can drag that out of there at any point. If you guys don't want to see this right here, you can go ahead and disable it as well. All right, you can see this is one of my videos. Quality is excellent. Um, no issues, skipping back and forth, and um, can't wait to see how that actually looks on the recording. So let's go ahead and we'll stop it here. We'll just exit out of here, and let's go back in, and we're gonna uh, just test it out, see how it looks. All right, so there's a the video we just recorded. This is the screenshot we just took. So open it up, that's what it looks like, guys. All right, so pretty cool. From here, you do have the option, share, delete as well. Let's go to the video. All right, so there it is. And just like the AZ screen recorder, it looks like when you're moving rapidly through the menus, the, the screen do get pixelated a little bit. Also, I did notice at the bottom, it does say DU screen recorded. So there was an option to get rid of that watermark. Let's go back in and see if we can uh, remove that. So let's click on that, go to options, go to our settings. 
see if we can get rid of it. All right, so you can go ahead and disable the watermark for free, which is pretty cool that they don't charge you for that. So awesome. So that was basically it, guys. Two great applications that you can use to record your NVIDIA Shield, any Android box, and um, does have the option where you can hook in a mic, hook in a camera, and just go crazy. I do love the fact that both of them had the option to go live with social media. So if you guys wanted to do something on YouTube, Twitch, or on Facebook, you can go ahead and do that. So my opinion, both of them are almost equally good. I would give the D Recorder a slight thumbs up just because it has a little bit more options, and I, I do like the interface for both of them. But like I said, you can't go wrong with either one of them definitely want to hear what you guys uh, think on these so definitely drop your comments in the comment section below so the installation for both of these apps are pretty straightforward all you have to do is go to this website and then search for az recorder and du recorder of course you have on a fire stick or fire tv what you need to do first is make sure you go to your settings go down to device down to developer options make sure apps from unknown sources as well as adb debugging are turned on and once you have those turned on guys you're going to go home I'm going to click to the left and you're going to search for this app called Downloader. It's a big orange icon, cannot miss it. So once you get Downloader downloaded and installed, all you have to do is put in the same URL and follow the instructions from this video. So once you get to the website, guys, just search. We're going to search for DU Recorder. All right, so there it is right there. You just click on it. So you click right here where it says latest version, download and install it. And if you back on out, you can either search for AZ Recorder again, or if you scroll down, you will see that AZ Recorder is also on the same page. So pretty straightforward. If you guys have any issues installing this, please let me know. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one.